Hello everyone, uh, this is Dr. Tariq Masood. Today I'm going to discuss uh, optimization concept belief block lesson number two. Before my lesson, I used to read chronic words Rabbi Shrahali Sadri Yasli Amri Wahlal Ubdu Tukmelisani Yakfu called Rabbi Zithil. I'll try my level best to keep my lecture as short as possible 10 to 15 minutes. I hope you will enjoy. Okay, lecture number one recap. In my last optimization building block lecture, uh, we have discussed uh, optimization objective, design constraint on optimization process, optimization analysis, types of analysis, optimization hypothesis, troubleshooting, debottleneck, revamp, and replacement. So in number six, I have touched uh, on uh, troubleshooting, bottlenecks, revamp, and replacement. So I'm trying my level best to keep my lecture 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, optimization building block, le lesson number two. Process optimization concept and its segments. Optimization working concept has three pillars, people issue, lateral thinking, set theory for process optimization, comparative advantages when optimization process being implemented. Okay, first we will discuss people issues, then we will talk about lateral thinking, then uh, theory about the optimization and then comparative advantage in process optimization concept. Okay, people issues. As you know, the first factor, people issues, the, the people have the key element of people which comprise of the five elements size, communication, leadership, teams and creativity. So the size, concept, the dimension and the magnitude of the people, communication skill, effective means of communication address issues, leaderships lead and make the decisions, teams, different group of people perform different activities during process optimization creativity, imagination, originality to develop an idea when we have a building block of optimization process. Okay, now concept factor two, lateral thinking segments. As you know, lateral thinking segments, factor number two, have a directions and creativity. Direction, when you advise and recommend something to implement. Creativity, imagination, originality and ideas. If you have the concept, first evaluate, design, assess, measure and implement and then later on control. So that how the creativity concept can be implemented. Okay, concept factors set of theory segments. Set of theory segments, test hypothesis, troubleshooting, cannot not, dew point diagram. These are four parameters constituted as a part of set of theory. So the test hypothesis different ideas for competitive solutions, troubleshooting address the persisting issues during the normal operations or when there is a trouble. And the number threes cannot not hardly seems adequate or convincing by the way justification of definition of being implemented how they cannot can not be implemented. Number fourth, do point diagrams analysis to express breaks ROI return of investment during the do point diagram analysis. So the rate of interest can be determined. Okay, now concept factor number four, comparative advantage. So comparative advantage again constituted with two and other segments, comparative analysis. Identify competitive positions and operating result during a comparative analysis. Then the risk. So this is important to understand the situation exposed to danger or quantify the risk in order to have a comparative advantages. So the risk must be quantified before to set up a mitigation process or control mechanism. Now I'm going to discuss my next slide here. Positive hypothesis factors. So. During a positive hypothesis, we, I have one, linear simulations, non-linear, the bottleneck, and negative hypothesis. These four elements, when blended, and then output will provide a detailed analysis how the positive hypothesis can be constituted. 
Now in my next slide I will discuss linear simulation, non-linear, do we both like negative individually and then we will reach the detailed analysis of the positive hypothesis factors. Okay, first linear simulations as a part of positive hypothesis factor number one. So in a linear simulation constituted with the two another regress parameters, pi controllers, integral value to adjust the controller behavior, proportion derivative controls, proportion derivative control again to adjust the controller behavior, how it can be implemented, and then integral derivative to another parameter can be added parallel, proportion integral and derivatives to adjust the behavior more precisely. So the when we adding ID, P, ID, proportion integral derivative in the law segments, so then my control will be more precise in order to deliver the control results as long as the control concept is concerned. Okay, non-linear simulation again constituted with the three key elements that is first the perturbations, converge and calculus. In the perturbations, it comprises mathematical method for finding an approximate solution to our problems, but it is non-dynamic behavior of the equations. Converge similarly transform from one state to another state, but it is non-dynamic. Calculus concept integrating or differentiating or different functions. So that is how the calculation function can be implemented in non-linear simulation process as a part of positive hypothesis factor number two. In D bottleneck concept, you have to have to achieve D bottleneck, you have to improve in three key elements. First, process improvement, reliable and integral operations. Number two, HSC improvement to achieve zero LTA, no injury. And third, a last, very important product yield and quality improvement, and hand, which lead to enhanced customer satisfaction. Okay, uh, positive hypothesis factor number four, negative hypothesis. Negative hypothesis, which is constituted again with the, uh, five uh, key elements, uh, start troubleshooting, cannot not, low point diagram, competitive analysis. In the start, so the execute the proposed project or initiate in initial initiations and troubleshoot address the persisting issues during the normal operations or the, when the system has some perturbations or uncertainty. Then second part is cannot not, that hardly seems to adequate convincing by way justification of definition for implemented, how the system can be implemented to deliver the results. In the second two point, diagrams analysis to express breaks ROI, return on investment, how the system can be implemented as far as the optimization process is concerned. In the last competitive analysis, cash fully absorbs cash, cash flow in during the competitive analysis and how much system is compatible to fully absorb and how we can achieve the can achieve the proposed results so in my next slide here on detailed analysis that is my output from the positive hypothesis so it has a two steams one is a dcfu and pv steam and second is the stop steam in the dcfu and pv steams discounted cash flow or net present value of the project if being implemented in the second steam, suspend or put on hold due to financial or technical reasons. If this project has a value, so it must go and proceed. If this project did not deliver as per assign, so then we must suspend or stop the project activities as far as the optimization process is concerned. If it's not delivering as proposed in optimization process. So that is the next concept. Now, first of all, whenever we have to build, set up a building block of a process optimization, we must know the complexity of the problems and mysterious how the problem is complicated, how the intensity of the problem. We must know in before executing any optimization process. We must know organic chemistry, in organic chemistry, transitions, metal chemistry, catalysis, surface chemistry and the other concept of the, in order to have an optimization process. Then uh, heat transfer, mass transfer, thermodynamics, fluid mechanics, reaction kinetic, process control as part of the system. 
then electrical engineering mechanical applied mathematical physics in order to accomplish optimization process building block thank you very much everyone for your precious time please send me your feedback and comments t.masood.dr@bath.edu thank you very much and stay blessed